In this quick tutorial, we're going to look at uh, trying to, how to solve a problem uh, with a supplier detailed form, or it could be any form for that matter, when you're com uh, combining uh, two forms together and creating a subform. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at what the relationships were that we had built between these two forms. We have a supplier table and a master table. So we have connected, we've developed a relationship between these two tables, um, so everything should Everything should work as planned. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look. What we did is we've got a supplier form here that we created that has basic information about our supplier. Um, name, address, postal code, and city. Um, we have an item master form uh, that actually shows type of products that we carry. It's got the, uh, the unique item number, the name of the product, our retail price, our wholesale price, and uh, this is a supplier ID field that we added. So the problem that we're running into is when we created a supplier detailed form, in other words, we wanted it to combine or consolidate all the information from the supplier with the products that they carry, we ran into a bit of a problem in that we've got our sub form, okay, included down here, but you, as you can see with this example on Sony, none of the products that Sony, um, carries that, uh, that we uh, sell and purchase are showing up here, even though we have the relationship uh, created. So I'm gonna go through and show you how to fix this and what, what caused that problem. So let's close everything down and all, as always, start with a blank screen. And let's go back up to our item master form. Now you can see here, we've got a supplier ID, Apple, and this is what we have to check for here. We have to make sure that all our products that we carry in our inventory have the name of the supplier, the supplier ID, down in this field here below. Okay, so let's just tab through the records. Here's record two. Oh, now you can see what happened here. On our second uh, inventory item, we can see that we've got the supplier ID Apple listed here. But as I tab through and go to record three, you can see this is empty. So what that means is, is when we go to our supplier detailed form, this product and all the informa associated information about it will not show up here. So to resolve this problem, all we need to do is simply enter in the supplier uh, ID and we'll just tab through under each record and enter that field. As I said, if these fields are left blank, you will not get any of the associated products come over in your supplier detail form. We've only got about uh, just over 30 records, so this shouldn't take long. You know, you can also, if you want to, I'm typing in the first couple of letters of the supplier name. You can also, if you want to, use a drop down menu and select it that way if you wish. I just find typing it a little bit quicker. Get LG. And now we're moving to sharp. And lastly, I believe Toshiba is our last supplier in this example. Okay. So I think we got them all. Yep. All right, so once you've completed that and you've got the supplier IDs entered in this field, please remember to, as always, save your form. Let's close it. And now let's reopen our supplier detailed form and now the products associated with the suppliers should appear. And here we go. So now we've got Sony and we've got all the Sony products that we carry uh, with that supplier. We can also adjust our column widths, just to make it a little bit more presentable. There we go. Now let's just uh, tab through some suppliers here. Okay, I'm not able to access that because the screen recorder is on here. But once you've done this, just start flipping through your records at the bottom of your screen uh, to go to the various suppliers and you should see all the associated products and all the information associated with those products appear now on your supplier detailed subform. So I hope that helps and until next time, take care.